Bring it back. What's going on, everybody? Cold blooded here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, all right. So I had a couple requests: how to make a modded sawmill. Um, I thought better yet, um, instead of shooting you guys the uh, traditional way, which takes two people, um, basically you guys just place it at the same time. I'm going to show you guys how to do it on your own. Okay. So first things first, um, just place your sawmill wherever you want. I've already had set this one up. But typically you would place the sawmill, then you would come and grab your conveyor and then put it down there. That's what you do with the first one. Of course, make sure the settings are maxed out. These ones are. So 3 by 2.6. And I have another sawmill right here ready. Um, 3 by 2.6 also. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to reload your base. I don't think I could do it yet because I just loaded mine. We're going to try it out anyways. Oh, I can. Okay. So when you reload, you're going to want to stand right next to the sawmill. Um, what's going to happen is when your base is loading in, you're going to check, move, and then quit on the sawmill. So you're going to want to press check, then you're going to want to say move, and then you're going to want to press quit. Now what that's going to do is it's going to make the sawmill invisible for you. Don't worry. It's still going to be there. The very next time you load in, it'll be uh, right back there. You'll be able to see it. If you check move um, the previous or the sawmill, you'll see another one inside of it. Okay, so what's pretty awesome, um, it's kind of a laggy server, so let me actually... Oh, wait, no. Sorry. I can't go to the same plot. Now, this is going to happen to some of you guys. If you guys get in a really laggy server and you have a small base, you'll be lucky enough to be able to load in the exact same spot. If not, don't worry. Just cancel the load like I did right there. And then we are going to try again. Now hopefully nobody takes this spot before um, we get a chance to do it. If not, um, I mean, I, I kind of have a pretty good sense of where my base is. And my base is slightly larger. So I would have the time to do it. As you can see, I'm standing right there near where the sawmill is. At the top of the screen now. Okay, so we're going to want to confirm this location. Now it's in here. We're going to want to check, move, and then press quit. Now as you guys can see, I could grab this. I could grab this. I could grab this. But this is invisible for me. Now, while your base is still loading, you do not want to grab anything else. I mean, you can grab it, but you definitely don't want to place it down. If you place it down while your base is still loading, it will be invisible for you. Okay, so now it's done loading. We're going to grab this. We're going to pop it into place. Okay, again, settings are maxed out. Now, I'm not going to go and um, build a huge conveyor for you guys to go and see. Uh, you guys get the picture. You make the conveyors really long. Um, what I like to do also is just put a funneling conveyor at the end just to kind of give it a cleaner look. Make sure your conveyors are all pointing out. If they, if one of them is pointing in, it will stop your wood from growing. So make sure all your conveyor toggles are facing the right way. Okay. Um, last thing. This isn't absolutely necessary. It doesn't make the modded sawmill work. What this acts as is just a guide, and I mean, you don't have to use a hatch, you could use a door. So, as you can see, just bring it in, and basically it's a unit from the edge of the conveyor. And place it right there, and then drop it down. And this is just so that way the tree has something to uh, push up against. Now, I loaded here because i seen seen um, these elms here. Um, I'm going to go chop that one, actually, because there's less to turn them off. I don't want to fight with a huge tree because, you know, I mean, this is just a tutorial. I'm not trying to make a massively mod big modded piece, I think. You know what? I'm just going to do this oak. I like modding oak. <laughs> I actually do. Um, I keep looking for like the biggest piece of oak I can possibly find. I've got some pretty big sized ones. I don't know if I have one on this base. I'll zoom out and peek around real quick. I used to. I used to. Whoa, look at that cherry. We should have modded that. Dang. Oh, well. Whoa. Okay. Oh, actually, we want this branch over here. Nice straight branch, nice and long. That's Those are key things you want to look for. Um, because it's so skinny, I don't have to chop it so close to the edge. Now, you can put it in through the trunk or with a branch. Whatever is easier, whatever is long enough to reach the back. Now, it has to reach the back of the sawmill because that's where it actually, you know, takes the piece in. And there you go. Sucked it right in. And here we are. This is a pretty good size modded piece of, uh, of oak here. Not too bad. Um... Don't want to do the cherry. Let's do this oak here. Just so I can show you guys one more time. 
Now, um, sometimes it won't take the piece that easily. I was pretty lucky that it did. Um, chop. Chop. Rotate, rotate. And drop. And we're gonna go. Oh, I gotta. You have to play with it a little bit sometimes. They're, you know, they're not all straight branched. Um, it doesn't always take it instantly either. This I think might be hitting. Okay, so okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open this so we can peek. Okay, it's hitting. Um, I'm not gonna bother closing it because it's there. Okay, now if it doesn't take it automatically, you're gonna check, move, and then quit. And hopefully it takes it. Some trees are stubborn, they just won't go. You're gonna have to fight with them a bit. Um, don't worry, it's not a problem. And sometimes you have to chop off a little bit more and it'll take it right away. As you guys can see, that piece was clearly larger than the 10 unit max. 10 unit max takes it here. The 10 units literally right here, you know, where the entry is. And that piece was sticking out over here. So it doesn't always work, it's not a complete science. Um, chop this one I'll show you guys real quick 10 units oh, wrong thing large floor put this down that's eight units long so as you guys can see that's almost twice as long so we're gonna say that's I'm gonna say that's 15 units okay put it in and it took it right away see the server got pretty nice whoever was lagging it out left so it's taking it instantly but again if you're having problems just check move and sometimes you will need to cut a piece off again and it'll just happen to suck it in and other times you just won't be able to mod the tree now it was pretty sad I found a spook wood tree this um it wasn't Halloween but it was around Halloween time let me look for that oh well I'm telling you guys a story uh, I went through the trouble one of uh, my friends in the game she went and sent me a message hey found a spook wood tree so I joined the lobby, we went, um, I got it after dealing with some guy who was trying to steal it from me. You know, it was a big pain, I had to fight to get it down, and then when I did get it down, um, I couldn't mod it. I, I would go, I'd get it in, and it wouldn't take it, so I'd chop a little more off, and I'd chop a little more off, and I'd chop a little... You know, before I knew it, I had a piece of spook that was probably about this size. This was the biggest piece of spook I got. Um... I had a couple more that were around this size, you know, maybe one like that, but the rest were all tiny. They were, I mean, they were little pieces. It was, it was kind of sad. I was excited to be able to try to mod my first spook tree, and it was an epic failure. All right, guys. Well, I sucked up enough of your time for today. Sorry, I am going to be uploading this so load. I have been fighting with my capture card and my computer all day. In fact, the last time some of you may have seen me was on Roblox's live feed. Yeah, I was in there kind of choking around and having fun. Um, I'm going to be popping into a lot more live feeds now. I kind of enjoyed it. I had a good time. Uh, I, don't worry, I'm going to be starting to live stream more often also soon. I am working on it. Um, one more thing, I also added a donation button to my channel, so if you are able to or want to, don't feel pressure to at all. Um, anything is appreciated, you know, a dollar, whatever it may be. I'll throw this in there. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Epic fail. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, I added the button on my channel. It will, hadn't popped up yet. Maybe it will by the time any of you guys happen to get there. If not, don't worry. If you can't, that's okay. No pressure. Like I said, anything is appreciated. No donation is too small. And please don't feel like you have to be you know, the one to give me the most money. In fact, if nobody gives me money, that's okay. Just thought, you know, anything helps, like I said, just so that way I could go and have more time to create more content for you guys. And, you know, hopefully we can get, you know, live streams up. Uh, just need a little bit more money to get what I need to be set up for that. And then, um, shoot, if I'm able to, I'll live stream daily with you guys. And I'll play with you guys daily. I'll invite you guys to the lobby and whatnot. Alright guys, that's it for today. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you need any other tutorials or anything else you need help with, let me know. And for all things Lumber Tycoon, subscribe to my channel.